Hello everyone, this is I Eat Kale and today we'll have a look at the Thermia Fractures event and how to do it in 2023. If you're like me and you wanted to take part and get the rewards but couldn't find a group then this is the video for you. The first thing you need to do is check to see if the event is active. The Thermia Fractures event is active every month for 2 weeks and has unique rewards that can only be obtained here. You have 4 Amalgam mods of which Amalgam Organ Shatter is a must have in any heavy attack melee weapon build. I recommend something that can survive the damage but any frame you feel comfortable with works although it might slow the things a little bit. I picked Inaros because he can survive the damage easily and can help you bypass some of the mechanics. For weapons I use the Torrid Incarnate but this is very preferential and any good weapon works. Now you want to head out to Orb Valis and close some fractures. The first thing you want to do is find the Exploiter Orb. The Exploiter Orb will always spawn around the Temple of Prophet, so you wanna head there and look for it. After you found it, you will see some enemy spawns around the Exploiter Orb that you need to kill in order to get the cooling canisters to close the fracture. Each fracture requires 4 canisters to reward you the full points for the event, so you want to close the fractures with all the 4 canisters inserted. After you kill the spawns and have 4 canisters on the ground, you want to mark the spawns because you'll have to return here to get these canisters later on. The next step is to go and find some open fractures. Fractures can spawn anywhere on the map and they look like earth lava eruptions, so you can't miss them when you see them. After you found the fracture, you need to bring the canisters. It's important to know that once you put one canister in, the defense mission will start and there is a limited amount of time for you to put the rest of the canisters before you won't be allowed to do that anymore. So you need to do this quickly in one go. Now, you have to remember the location where you found the fracture and go back to the marked spot to collect the canisters that you've previously farmed. There is a trick to do this process quicker. Once you get to the marked spot, you want to pick one canister with, a w with your Warframe, then another one with your Operator. You don't want to get back into the Warframe now, because if you do, the canister held by the Operator will disappear. Instead, you will travel with the Operator. Open the map and teleport to the closest point from the Fracture that you previously found. Get as close as possible to the Fracture and drop the canister on the ground. Then get into the Warframe and drop that canister too. Repeat this process once so you have 4 canisters next to the fracture and then you can begin. Now that you have everything, pop all the canisters in and the defense will start. You have to defend the fracture while it cools, so make sure it doesn't get destroyed until the number on the left reaches 175. Important things to keep in mind are some mechanics. The fracture will emanate heat procs and radiation procs which can and will kill you. This is why you want a tankier frame so you don't have to worry about the damage. Also, every now and then there will be a blue corpus lights around the area, silencing everything. Playing with Inaros, that won't really affect me because Inaros doesn't rely on any abilities and silence doesn't really do anything to him. But the most important mechanic to be mindful of is the radiation proc. In case you don't know how radiation works, if enemies are affected by a radiation status, they will get confused and start attacking each other, neglecting you. It's a great defensive status, unfortunately. When you are affected by radiation, you won't get the confusion effect, but you can still harm friendly targets, and this includes the mission objective. This is a very annoying mechanic and can make you lose a lot of time. To avoid it, try not to fight too close to the fracture, and be very careful with AoE abilities and weapons such as Kuva Brahma or Archebex, and even chain effect weapons such as Torrid. Trust me, the last thing you want is to destroy your own objective. Apart from this, this is a normal mobile defense-like mission. Enemies are up to level 80, so make sure you can kill those and survive them, and you're good to go. Upon completion, each closed fracture will award you 7 event points and 1 diluted thermia. So you need to close as many fractures as you desire depending on the reward that you're aiming for. If you want to see any other guides like this or anything else in particular, please leave a comment down below. I hope this video helps and thank you very much for watching. Peace.